Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello, my name is Layla. Thanks for clicking on the video. I hope that you enjoy it and decide to go ahead and subscribe and become a part of the SB fam. So this is episode six of our planner newbie series. This one is going to be what to actually write inside your planner. So if that's something that interests you, just keep on watching. So in the first episode, I showed you guys um, what you actually need for planning and that is a planner and a writing utensil. We then talked about um, what some of the planner supplies are, what some of the different planner sizes and um, shapes of planners are and all that fun stuff. And a lot of times I did mention what you'll write in your planner. I gave you like a couple of small ideas um, of what you may actually put in there. So in today's video, I wanted to just kind of basically show you guys what you would do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and flip to the September month, which is the month that we are currently in. This is what they call a landing page. It's the page that's at the back of the previous month. Um, and it's where you can write your notes, your ideas, um, birthdays, anniversaries, just anything that you need to go in your planner to kind of move forward into the next month. You can go ahead and jot that down here. Um, then of course you have your monthly tab, which says September. So if you flip into September, this is what the month on two pages looks like in this particular happy planner planner so I am here I'm just gonna pretty much just quickly because I know last videos was like <laughs> last video was ridiculously long like really really long if you stayed in for the long haul and watched that whole episode I applaud you um, I hope that you learned some good things it definitely was way longer than I thought it would be and a whole lot more talking than I realized I would be doing um, but if you stayed in for the long haul <laughs> thank you I appreciate it I hope that you enjoyed that video um, it definitely gave it, a, gave it a thumbs up if you learned some things but in this one we're just gonna go ahead and start writing things down so for one as an American I separate, I separate, Jesus, I celebrate certain holidays, I keep certain holidays and certain pre-written uh, days in my actual planner and then some I actually don't. So I'm going to go ahead and white out the things that do not apply to me and mine. And if you remember with the uh, planners, if your pages are disbound or if there are slits cut in your pages, you can cut them yourself if you need to. And then you can go ahead and pull out the pages as needed. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and leave that out just so that it's a little easier for me to write. So. I'm not going to write any personal details on here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and kind of just um, pretend I was writing some things and show you how things go. So, of course, autumn begins on uh, February, excuse me, Jesus Christ, y'all, February on September 22nd. So, autumn, a.k.a. fall. So, I'm just going to go ahead and write down fall begins or fall starts, same thing. Um, some of the other things you could write is that I know that this week is going to be fall break for the kids. So, I'm going to go ahead and write fall break no school and I hate my handwriting so don't judge I hate it more than I'm sure you guys hate your own but it is what it is um, some of the other things you may want to write is like bills so I would write like mortgage um, let's I'm just literally making up stuff you guys this isn't any of my real details but we'll say car notice due there we'll say car insurance is due here um, we'll say lights is due here We'll put water over here. And let's see here. So we got bills. Some of the other things you may jot down are events. So let's say, for example, um, you know, one of my friends is having a birthday party for, you know, her daughter. So we're just going to make up a name. We're just going to say Ashley B Day. That is not a B. Party. And then I like to put the time, so I'm just going to say at 2 p.m. So we'll jot that down. Um, let's say we have our monthly work meeting. We'll put monthly QA. And we'll just put a time there. And then let's see. Um, if you had another event or another party or another something coming up, you would jot that down. Um, let's say if you're like myself, even though my period is fake and by fake, I mean, I don't bleed like I used to, or like the average woman does. Um, I had a procedure because I was bleeding like a stuck pig. The title of that procedure is endometrial ablation. Um, if you have questions or more details, you definitely can go to Google. It will hook you up. If you want to ask me any of my personal details, I do not mind sharing y'all know I'm an open book. 
Facebook. Hit me up on DM via uh, Instagram and I'll be happy to give you details about that whole scenario. Um, but those are no longer real flows. So let's just say, for example, the last one came on, I don't know, uh, let's say it came on the 11th. So what I usually do is write LMP. And then for me personally, I usually put a heart around it. And sometimes I also, also draw through it with a mouth liner. So we'll say we get our period jotted down. Um, other things you may want to jot down is let's say your kid's school schedule. So you've got fall break written down. Um, let's say you had pictures for one of your kids. You put like your kid's name and then you'll put, you know, school pics or school photos or however you choose to do it. So you want to jot stuff like that down in your planner. Let's say, for example, you have a doctor's appointment on the 8th. So you could put um, PCP follow up. 8 a.m., something to that nature. Let's say your kids are going for their pediatrician annual. So you could write kids, peds, annual. Oops. And then let's just say 9 a.m., something like that. Um, dental appointments. Let's say hubby had a dental appointment, I don't know, here on the 7th. So I'd write hubby, dental, 8 a.m., and let's say, I don't know, you wanted to get your oil changed on the 18th. You may contact your dealership and, you know, jot down that you have that appointment. Um, so let's say it was for my truck. So we'll put Sequoia, 8 a.m. oil change. Just jot that down. Alrighty, let's see here. What else might you put? Um, I'm off on Sundays now. Let's say maybe mommy and my sister wanted to go girls day shopping on Sunday the 26th. So you may say, I literally usually write just that. <laughs> I write girls day shopping in my planner. And then I usually just put the time that we plan on starting. Um, and if we've decided like where we're gonna park the cars or who's driving or what store we're meeting at, I usually jot that down too. So let's just say girls day shopping, 8 a.m. I don't know, Burlington, they open pretty early. So we'll start with them. We'll say that we chose to start there. So Burlington, uh, let's see, what else might you put on the planner? Um, I don't know, let's say you're gonna have drinks with your bestie on this Friday night. So you may wanna put drinks with bestie and maybe, you know, my house, cause sometimes it could be her house, and maybe what time she's gonna show up, 7.30 p.m. So that may be something that you wanna jot down in the planner. Um, you may even wanna write down like your outfits if you plan them out during the week, like if you wanna wear a dress one day, you know, pants the next day, or if you have to wear scrubs to work. Um, if you're in healthcare, you know, you may wanna write what color, even like bag switching. You know, sometimes you want to switch your purses on a regular because you don't wanna put a lot of wear and tear on one purse or you want it to match your outfits for the week or you just, you want to rotate your bags um, so that you make sure they all get used. Like someone like myself who has a pretty, you know, medium to large size collection, you know, you wanna make sure everybody gets some love everybody gets worn everybody gets used you don't forget about anybody things like that and that's another reason why I wanted to put mine in the purse cabinet so that I could see them so I may want to I don't know switch bags on Sunday so I may want to go ahead and put you know a schedule let's say never full mm mono and let's say I want to make a deal with myself for September I want to try to carry for a whole week so Sunday I may want to switch into my graceful um it's in the DE print. So let's say I want to move into Coach Rogue the next week. So I may put down Coach Rogue and I may want to, you know, go ahead and put which color since I do have a couple. So let's just say we write Yellow Snake. I cannot stand my handwriting. Okay. And let's say the final week we choose to do, I don't know, my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse in mono, something like that. I don't know. Just whatever I choose. So you may, you know, want to write your purse schedule down there. So. I mean, you pretty much can write anything you want. And then let's say like over here on this sidebar, you know, you can use this for anything, but let's say we want to do, you know, goals. Let's say we want to uh, do a Glucerna shake diet and we'll say something like times five. So that would mean I want to do, you know, one to two Glucerna shakes, replacing those meals, you know, at least five days of the week. Let's say I want to do um, the bike, 30 minutes, let's say three times. Um, let's say I want to do um, workout routine. Let's say I come up with like, you know, a, a certain number of squats or jumping jacks or push ups or something like that. Um, and I create like a little routine. And let's say I want to do that workout routine times three or something like that. Um, 
let's say I want to, you know, drink more water that week. Let's say I want to do two of my full size, like I'll just show you, I have one of the Starbucks um, tumblers. I think it's what, like 24 ounces or something like that? Yeah, it's 24 ounces. So let's just say we want to drink two of those. Um, I'm just going to write, well, I, it's really not a cup. It's really not a bottle, but it really is a cup. I'm just going to write cup because I know what it means. <laughs> it's two of those. So we'll just say um, two cups a day would be like a goal for me. Now, the average person might drink five of those a day and that's their norm, but I'm not normally a thirsty person. Um, so I have to force myself, remind myself to actually drink. So we'll say that's one of the goals. And let's say I've been slacking on folding laundry on time or something. So that is not a you, but we're going to pretend it is. So let's say laundry schedule on time or something like that. Um, just anything that you may think. And so this is a prime example of how you would literally take just your planner and just your pen and write down your monthly plans. Um, like I said, I don't want this video to be too, too long. So <laughs> I'm not going to, you know, dive in too deep and, and move on to the weekly, which I consider doing. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do that in another video because I don't want to keep you guys too long. I want to keep it short and sweet and get you what you need. So again, this is the September monthly layout. I have literally used just the planner and just a writing utensil, i.e. my favorite pen, the tool pen, to go ahead and write down my goals in my sidebar, which is this area over here to the left, and then just go ahead and write everything out. I have bills, appointments appointments, bags I want to carry for each week, the, the kids, um, you know, significant events happening like fall break, um, you know, like Mally having pictures at school. I have doctor's appointments. I have dental, appointment, dental appointments. Um, I have some of the bills, mortgage, car note, lights, water, things like that. I have little events I'm doing like drinking be drinks with the bestie or, you know, taking one of the kids to a birthday party. I have an oil change appointment. Just everything that I've got going on, I have now put on paper and gotten it out of my mind. This way I don't overbook myself. I can tell the kids as well as, hu as well as hubby what's happening when so that no one is, you know, overbooking or forgetting things. Hubby does not keep a planner. So of course, once he tells me about his dental appointment, you know, I'm pretty good at reminding him, hey babe, don't forget your appointments on Tuesday. You know, over the previous weekend, I'd say something like that or something to that effect. But this is exactly how it will look if you just took your pen and your paper and jotted everything down. These are a few examples of what you could put in a planner. Whatever's going on in your world, in your life, like I said, from your goals to what you want to do that month to specific things happening on specific days which look I forgot payday so let's just toss some in there let's just say that's when they were you know you just write in whatever comes to mind for you on how you jot down your payday but any of those things you can write in your planner and that's the beauty of the planner it is yours you are individual you do what you want how you want these are just some videos on this series that I've created to kind of show you how to start using a planner and you know how to plan your life one page one pen and when you guys get into it one sticker at a time so i hope that this was helpful hopefully this video was not too long and you guys enjoyed it learn some things and can move forward with the information so as always i will see you on the next video bye